All right, guys, so we got Ryan's converted Sega here. This is going to be the very first time he shoots it since the conversion. Um, using a Redfield 4 to 12 by 40 millimeter scope. And we'll see. Holy shit, that's a light trigger. <laughs> oh my god. That trigger's ridiculous, guys. You see these, these guns really need a flash hider on them. Jesus. There's that mojo sight. So give us your opinion. What do you think? Uh, guys, the trigger is 110% better than the old one. That's that Tapco, right? Uh, yeah, this is the Tapco G2 trigger and G2 hammer in there. Um, stock mainspring on there. Um, guys, it's, it's, it's badass. It's really, really cool. Now you went with the Magpul CTR stock I and cheek riser. I went with the Magpul CTR with the, with the cheek riser. What do you think? That, that's, that's working out good. That's working out real good. Sweet, so. man. Well, those are the first two shots, guys, with the converted Sega 223. Looks like everything's functioning just perfect. So, yep. Ryan's happy. <laughs> All right, guys, so here's Chad shooting the uh, newly converted Sega 223. Top of the ring, Chad. Okay. Yep, we're out. You know what's nice is uh, I still thought maybe that bolt hold open was going to be an issue, and you can't even feel it. it. It's shaved off perfectly. That is something, guys, that nobody else has brought up when you do these conversions. Is that your bolt hold open? Um, I'm sorry, it's real small right now because I'm actually using it, but it needs to be trimmed because it actually it actually touches your finger. Um, but Ryan, dude, that that is like night and day, dude. Isn't it? Oh my gosh, that that makes this gun so much better. I converted my Sega 12 before I actually sold it. We are looking for a 762 by 39 millimeter, and uh, that was going to probably be in the future. When we do do it, we will do a second converting video. Um, to just show you guys uh, just any differences or anything like that if there is anything and then we're, uh, we'll, we'll do maybe uh, some dual wields some dual wield Segas or something like that so look forward to that guys that's awesome yeah if you guys like this video please subscribe um, and uh, if you guys have any questions on the conversion or the uh, Sega AK uh, let us know and we'll try to answer those prompts thanks for watching guys this is Ryan and Chad from CNR Reviews.